Hey guys, it's Tanika and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be doing a full face using Designer Brands Cosmetics. I put up a poll over on my Instagram asking if you wanted to see Designer Brands or BYS Cosmetics and Designer Brands won by a mile. So I reached out to them and they were so kind to send me a full face of makeup to play with. Designer Brands is an Australian company. They are cruelty free and you can pick their products up in chemists throughout Australia. You can also shop online if you are international as well. I have so many goodies here to play with. I am super excited to share it with you. So if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, please subscribe and let's just get straight into the video. Okay, so the primer I am so excited to try. I feel like this has been really raved about. It is the Gold Elixir Priming Potion. So it says that it helps boost radiance and firm skin and it has pure gold flakes. I think that it's meant to be similar to the, is it like a, a Guerlain? Guerlain? A primer? I don't know. There's an expensive primer out there that has gold flakes in it and I think this is meant to be a little bit of a dupe for that. So on the back it also says that it is infused with vitamin C, hyaluronic acid, Q10 and green tea, and it is meant to firm and hydrate the skin. So yes, close. It does have fragrance. It's a gel consistency. It's feeling really lightweight, very moisturizing, which I need right now because, oh my God, my skin is so dry. It's been really cold the last couple of days and I'm feeling it. All right, so I just did two pumps and I definitely think that was more than enough. You can see that my skin does look very hydrated, kind of glowy. <laughs> Next for foundation, I'm going in with one that I've used plenty of times before. It is the Luminous Hydrating Foundation. Now I have two shades here. The first one is Porcelain Ivory and then I've also got True Ivory. Now I do need to mix these, so I'll just show you what the shades look like on their own. So the darker shade is Porcelain Ivory and the lighter shade is True Ivory. Actually, before I go in with foundation, I want to cover up these lovely pimples here. So I've got two of the Glow This Way Illuminating Concealers here. Wow, I'm impressed with these shades. So here we have Porcelain and Ivory. So I think Ivory will match my skin tone to cover up my pimples. And then I'll use Porcelain under the eyes later to highlight and conceal. Now, if you watch my videos regularly, you would know that I like to color correct my blemishes first with a green concealer. They did have a, I think like a four shade color correcting palette, but I didn't end up getting that. So we'll just see how the concealer goes at covering the redness. All right, well that is looking good. It's covered up those blemishes well. For foundation, I do have some brushes here from the Melodrama brush set, which I actually did a review on a while ago. So I'll link it down below if you want to see. But I also grabbed the Microfiber Beauty Sponge. I'll show you a close-up. I hope you can see the texture of it. See how it's kind of like fuzzy? It's like a peach. <laughs> so I'm going to go wet this and see what happens. Okay, it is freaking huge. <laughs> oh, okay. That actually looks amazing. I thought because of like the weird fuzzy feel of it, it would leave little streaks in the foundation. But that is so freaking flawless. Okay. Oh my God. So this foundation is, it's very full coverage for a glowy foundation. So I'd say it's medium to full. This sponge is making it look really full and really flawless. Like I would usually do two layers of this foundation, but I don't think I need to. That looks really good. Oh my God. Okay. And I know it probably sounds like I'm bashing my face with this, but 
I'm actually pressing really lightly, I think just because the sponge is quite dense. It's making that loud sound. <laughs> I thought it would be quite difficult to get under my eyes, but it's not that bad. We'll see when I put concealer on though. And if you take a look at the sponge, there is hardly any product on it. I'm just gonna zoom you in. Look at that finish. <sighs> wow. All right, I'm just like so happy. <laughs> Okay, on to the concealer. So, as I mentioned before, it's the Glow This Way Illuminating Concealer. And it says, a natural finish illuminating concealer that melts into the skin for all day radiant coverage. So it sounds really good. It's got a flat applicator wand. Ooh. So this is the shade Porcelain, which was the lighter one. Now, let's see if the sponge can get right up in there because it does have like that flat head. So is it gonna be precise enough? Oh my God, it gets up in there. Might just do a little bit more. So with the sponge, the way it's cut here, this angle allows you to get up in that corner. I still prefer a pointy end, like a pointed end, like the Beauty Blender. But hey, it's working. It's not as luminous as I thought it would be. Like compared to the foundation where you can see I've got quite a glow to the skin. I thought the concealer would be quite similar. For powder, I have another really exciting one. This is the Hydra Set translucent setting powder and it contains hyaluronic acid green tea and aloe vera it says it's a unique wet feel powder that sets liquid and cream products and refreshes the complexion so again i think there is a like a becca powder that is similar to this all right i'm going to use a brush for this this is the tapered powder brush from the melodrama brush set Okay, it doesn't really feel as cooling as I thought. Oh, there we go. Ooh, oh, I just didn't have enough on the brush. Oh my God, it actually feels wet. That is weird. I'm going to go in with some on the sponge. Oh, that's very white. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Okay, I'll just brush it away. Okay, after setting, my under eyes look pretty creasy, more than usual. That's all right, I'll just cover it up with eyeshadow. So I'm just going to lightly set the rest of my face. Oh my God. It feels so weird. It's actually cold. Okay, I like the way that that has set the rest of my face. It's a really fine layer. It has made the foundation look more matte, but I do not like the way that it's set under my eyes. Oh yeah, this eye looks terrible. Oh, shit, those creases. If you're not as creasy as me though, you probably won't have these problems. Okay, I've just gone ahead with my brush that I used to put my foundation on and just lightly pat out the area. And that is looking better. Let's dust that away. All right, that looks a bit better. For bronzer, I've got the Glow Get em Pressed Bronzer in the shade Chestnut. Now I've had this one for quite a while. It's a really nice shade. I have been obsessed with this angled contour brush lately for my bronzer. <gasps> so good. Even though it looks quite warm in the pan, it's a very subtle bronzer and you can build it up really well. Okay, that is applying really nicely as well on top of the foundation and the powder. Sometimes powders I find don't set my foundation enough and then when I go in and apply my cheek products, it picks up the foundation and that makes me mad. But this isn't doing that, thank God. 
For blush and highlight, I have the Brilliant Skin Blush and Illuminated Duos. They come in two shades. This one here is Rosy Glow, and then here we have Afterglow. I'm going to go in with the Rosy Glow Duo. I'm just going to use the same brush that I used for my bronzer. I'm going in lightly at first because it looks pretty pigmented. So let's see. That was only two little taps into the pan and look how pigmented that is. So I'm just going to blend that into the bronzer. And then if I ever feel like I've gone too heavy on the cheek products, I grab my sponge again and just kind of blend around the edges to soften it. And then this is the highlighting shade. Ooh, it feels really smooth. That is beautiful, nice and subtle. And I do love a light golden highlighter shade. I just, it doesn't look as harsh as like a really white or a pink highlighter. I feel like the light gold just looks a bit more natural on fair skin. If you wanted the highlighter to be a bit more intense, you could go in with a brush like this, the Sigma F03 highlighter brush. There we go. And because it's more densely packed, you're going to get a stronger outcome. There, look at that already. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Wow. Oh. <laughs> Before I go on to brows and eyes, I'm just going to spritz my face. I've got two here. The first one is the Petal Power Setting Spray. And then I've got the White Gold Plus Shimmer Setting Spray. I have a feeling this is going to smell like rose. So it says, a refreshing and hydrating setting spray that works to set the complexion, invigorate the skin, and help extend the wear time of your makeup. Infused with delicate, sweet rose scent particles. Can be worn alone for a healthy glow or spritzed on top of makeup for an all-day radiant finish. Okay, let's test the spritzer. Ooh. Ooh. Bit violent and it definitely smells like rose feels very refreshing on the skin though just settle all those powders in so for brows I've got the absolute feather four tip brow pen now I thought this was just going to be like a felt tip kind of like an eyeliner but it's actually one of those four prong oh my god you can hear my blocked nasal voice prong four prong uh, tip so I have swatched it and the color actually looks quite gray. So I don't know, I like a cool toned brow, but it doesn't really look brown. The shade I got is taupe. So what I'm going to do first is take the brow powder tinted brow gel in taupe and I'm going to brush this through my brows to tint the hairs and that way I can see the areas where I just need a little touch up and that's where I'll go in with the pen. Okay, so I feel like that has done a lot of the work. So let's see how this goes. So I'm going to sit it at the base of my brow and then just flick it up. Ooh. That worked really well. You can see at the front of this brow here, it all looks like hair where really that is the pen. Damn. Okay, well, that wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. And even though I thought the colour was really grey, it kind of, like, it matches the brow gel. And I don't even think it looks that bad. Okay, so I'm going to go back in with the concealer to use as an eyeshadow base. And I'll also use it to carve out my brows. So I might use ivory because that was the deeper shade. Okay, I noticed this before with the concealer, but I didn't know if I was just feeling things, but I can feel it again on my eyelid. It kind of has, again, like a, that cooling sensation. And I don't know if I like that around my eye area. I think I'm going to set this concealer in place. I'm not going to apply the eyeshadow over the top wet. 
So I'm going in with the I Love It palette. This one is the shade Keep It Neutral. And then I do also have the shade Spice Up Your Life, which has oh, some really, really beautiful shades in it. Like, look at those. <gasps> Ooh. Now I do have a red lipstick here. That's the only one I have. So I'm going to use the neutral palette. Starting off with this light shade here. That's a matte and I'm going to set the concealer. Okay, I have high expectations for these eyeshadows. I love the little six pan ICU palettes. Again, I've done a review on those. So I'll link it down below if you want to watch them. I'm going to start off with this shade here called Gleaming. I think I might deepen it up with either the burgundy or the dark brown and then I'm going to put one of the shimmers on the lids. I can tell straight away they're amazing. Just like the other palettes. They just blend so easily and the pigment is there. You don't have to spend a long time building it up. That's two taps into the shadow. Okay, so I'm taking this up into my crease quite high. I'm just going over the edges and making sure they're nice and blended. Because I already popped that neutral shade down, it's acting as a transition as well to like blend out the edges of this deeper shade. Then I'm going to take the same shade on a small bullet brush and blend this under the lower lash line. And as I said before, because it is quite creasy, I'm going to really smoke this out. That is such a beautiful shade. <laughs> so excited. Next, I'm taking the deluxe crease brush from the set and I am going to go in with that deeper brown. Just going to lightly build it up on the outer corner. I just love these shadows that blended out so easily. And then using my Sigma E15 Definer brush, I'm going to run a really thin line on the lower lash. Okay, here are the swatches of the shimmers in the palette. I think I might go for this one here. And then I'll put a little bit of the lighter one on the inner corners and brow bone. Lock it in. All right, I'm going to try it dry first. We'll see how that goes. It's definitely there, but it's subtle. So let's try it wet. Just gonna use some of the rose setting spray. Spritz the brush. That definitely amps up the shimmer. If I'm not doing a cut crease, lately I've been liking taking the shimmer up into my crease and just bringing it up a bit higher. I just feel like it blends the look together a bit nicer. All right, so then in with the lighter shimmer. Ooh, that's pretty. To make sure it's blended, I go in with a little bit more of that matte brown shade and just go over the edges of the shimmer. Okay, I love this eye look. Those shades are so pretty and that was super easy to do. If you are after a palette that can go from like an everyday neutral to a little bit more glam for the night time, then I would definitely recommend this one. It's got really beautiful shades. For eyeliner, I'm going in with the Pigment Plus Water Resistant Retractable Eyeliner. And this is in the shade. Hmm, I don't know, but it's brown. And I've just noticed it comes with a sharpener. <gasps> oh, okay. So I'm assuming you take this bit from the cap, pop it on, and twist. Wow, that's cool. All right, I'm going to put this in my tight line. 
I love using brown liners over black because I just feel like they don't look as harsh. And then for mascara, I've got the Absolute Lash Lengthening Volumizing Mascara. Usually I'm in two fluffy wands, so we'll see how this goes. Ooh, I can get nice and close to my lash line, which I can't really do with the fluffier wands because it gets all over my lid. <laughs> Okay, so far it's a nice formula. It's not too wet. Thank God. I hate working with really wet mascaras. I just feel like they go everywhere. It's definitely volumizing and grabbing onto every single lash. As for lengthening, I've definitely seen my lashes longer, but they do look really beautiful and natural. Like not clumpy is what I mean by natural. As I said, they're definitely not as long as they could be, but they look really nice. Like, look how separated. Ooh, yeah. I like that. Okay, I thought I had a lip liner, but I don't. So I'm just going to go in with this nude one here. And then the lipstick I have is the Moisturizing Lipstick in the shade Fire Red. That is really comfortable. Very moisturizing, thank God, because these winter dry lips just... <laughs> I'm going to take this liner brush and just tidy up the edges. Whenever I wear a bold lip, I like to go around the edges with a brush just to make sure it's, you know, looking good. Okay, damn, that is bright. I don't think I've worn a bright lip like this for a very long time. <laughs> And then lastly, I'm going in with the White Gold Plus Shimmer Setting Spray. So I've just sprayed it onto my arm. Looks like it gives, give, ugh. looks like it gives a nice subtle glow. Okay, I might put a little bit more on. I was scared I was gonna get like those white dots on my face. All right, guys, well, this is the finished look. I'm just going to quickly run through the products and let you know my overall thoughts. So starting with the primer, I really enjoyed this. It felt nice and moisturizing on the skin, and I liked that it made my skin look luminous without looking shimmery. Very natural, so I'll definitely be giving this a go. And this packaging is freaking sturdy. It comes in a glass bottle, like, damn. The foundation, I've used this heaps of times before. It has a really beautiful full coverage for a hydrating, luminous foundation. It's not the longest lasting because it's a luminous foundation, but you're definitely still gonna get like that six, seven hour wear out of it. The concealer, I think this would have to be my least favorite of the bunch today. I just, I don't know, it's a shame because the colors are really, really good. Like, these are amazing fair shades. Having one that matches my skin tone and then one I can use under my eyes to highlight. But I just felt like they're called illuminating concealers. They weren't that illuminating. They looked kind of patchy under the eyes and also on the lid. And again, that feeling, it was kind of like that cooling but burning kind of feeling. So... Not too sure on those. I will give it like another few tries this week when I'm going to work. But yeah, I'll keep you updated over on my Insta story. So make sure you follow me over there. Next, the powder. Oh my God, this was so weird. It actually feels wet on your skin. So I really like how it has set my face. It does give a matte finish though. So if you're dry, not sure if you'd like this. I'd have to try it again to see if it does help with the longevity of my makeup, but right now I'm excited to give it another go because it felt so cool. <laughs> the bronzer, as I've said, I've had this in my collection for a while and I really like it. The blush and highlighter duo. So the blush was really pigmented, so just keep that in mind. Start off lightly and work your way up, but I really like the finished look. It just gives a nice flush to the cheeks. You saw how it applied differently with a fan brush and a more dense brush. So you can get the two different looks depending on what you're going for. I really, really like this one and it comes with a really nice big mirror. Take a look at that. 
brows. I love this brow gel. I've had it in my collection for ages. As you saw, it just tints them really well, so you only have to add in a little bit of product afterwards. I was actually really surprised with this brow pencil. I thought it just wasn't going to work and the color would be off, but I don't know. I'm digging it and I'm definitely going to try it again. The eyeshadow palette, absolutely love. I'm just so impressed with their eyeshadow formula. Every single one I've tried just works amazingly and I love it. And then we've got, and then we've got the mascara. Definitely enjoyed using that. We'll be using it again. The lipstick, it feels so comfortable on the lips, very moisturizing. And I'm actually digging this red shade. I don't know, I don't usually wear red lipsticks very often. Like hardly ever. I like it. I'd be keen to try out some other shades in this formula because as I said, very, very comfortable. The setting sprays, the rose one has a very strong rose scent. It's not my favorite, but it settled my makeup into my skin and made everything look good. So winner, winner. The white gold shimmer. I feel like it gave a little bit of a shimmer, not too much. But then again, like I don't want it to be too much because then it's overpowering and it's like, holy, eh, what have I done? So I'll give this one another go and keep you updated on Instagram. And then lastly, my favorite thing from the bunch was this damn sponge. The thing I thought I would hate the most. <laughs> I know that sounds so bad, but I just looked at it and I was like, damn, that's weird. I can't believe how flawlessly it blended out the foundation and it soaked up hardly any product. Like amazing oh my god all right well that is all from me today leave me a comment down below letting me know what your favorite product was from this video and if there's anything that you're going to pick up and try because i would love to have a chat about it make sure you give this video a thumbs up and if you're new here i would love it if you would subscribe i will also have my instagram down below if you want to follow me over there i hope you're all having a fantastic day and i will see you in the next one bye